hello everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video we will be talking about the goods receipt process in the last session we had seen how do we create a purchase order the next step in the p2p cycle is the goods receipt process so let us understand what the gr process is so the goods receipt process models receiving goods from a supplier it is a very essential part of any company supply chain as a part of the purchasing process you can create a purchase order or schedule agreement. You can use these documents to create inbound deliveries. Now, when a delivery is on the way, you can create an inbound delivery to document the coming of goods. You can document a lot of information about the delivery, for example, the items, the delivery, the weight, and the delivery data. The inbound delivery is the central object for the inbound delivery process. It supports all the activities, including put away, packing, transportation, and goods receipt for inbound deliveries when you post the good receipt for the goods then only the delivery is completed so in addition you can provide the proof of delivery as a part of the goods receipt process this is important to track any differences between the ordered and the delivered quantity now when you post the gr for the inbound delivery the following functions are carried out on the basis of the gr document number one is the warehouse stock the material is increased by the delivery quantity the value changes are posted to the balance sheet into inventory accounting the goods receipt posting is automatically recorded in the document flow. So after the GR is done, the scope of changing the delivery document is very limited. This prevents any discrepancies between the goods receipt document and the inbound delivery. Now let's check how do we actually post the goods receipt. Now in the SAP system, if you want to post the GR with reference to a purchase order then you can use the transaction Migo. now we have to choose goods receipt and then purchase order and then you enter the purchase order number and press enter so the screen looks like this when you enter the gr and the purchase order and the purchase order number the movement type here is defaulted at 101 so whenever you do a gr with respect to a po the movement type is always 101 so next step you can see all the items from the purchase order that will be populated into the gr screen so whatever line item details and other information that were there in the purchase order will be populated in the gr screen here you enter the data the posting date and choose the appropriate printing message type if you look at the stock type for both the items you can see that the first item is posted to quality inspection and the second item is posted to unrestricted use stock so that it goes through the quality check procedure now this is an example of an influence of a material master on further processing of mm module now this change of stock type is due to the purchasing view checkbox that is posed to inspection stock now after all the information has been processed we can check if the items are okay so there is a check mark item okay so the check button will tell you if there are any warnings or errors there are some messages it would show you in the pop-up screen if everything is fine you will get a message that there are no messages issued and the document is okay so once you have that message you can post the document by clicking on the save button so these are the check and the post button so check is for checking the consistency of the document and you have to check this option item okay so once there are no messages issued and you have the message document is okay you can post the document and you have the material document generated so whenever you do a gr a material document is posted and also an accounting document is posted so you can check the accounting document and the co document if it is relevant so when you do the gr a material document is posted and also an accounting document is generated you can display the material document and click on the follow on documents button to check the accounting and the co document if it's relevant so that is all about the good receipt process so that is all in this video if you got value from this video do like comment and share with your friends do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have any questions or feedback share them in the comment section below till we meet again next time you all take care and goodbye